Here we are again. Uh, my name is Daniel Boris and this is the eighth visit to the collection. I promised that I would break out uh, the figures into smaller groupings so that we could talk a little bit about their uh, heritage, their manufacturers, their types. And this would be my first effort at this in video number eight. <clears throat> what we're going to be looking at is a Highland Division and we'll do a, a long sweep of them and then we'll go in to one grouping at a time and talk about the manufacturer etc. The um, This is one of many Highland divisions that uh, I have. I didn't realise that. I didn't realise how many Scottish soldiers I actually have but it should be no surprise really when you pay a little bit of attention to the whacked out accent. Uh, the, um, this is a cheat sheet that I have here and we'll refer to it from time to time for you uh, and for me to remind us just exactly which set is which as we work through them. So moving from the left to the right we'll start with the Cameron Highlanders and they're in their campaign dress with the white helmets. Um, they're a very old set and um, they are mint. If you just look at them, you see how beautiful they are. I buy mint figures uh, whenever I can. Uh, this is set 114 in the Britain's list, and they're from 1930. They are in the original Whistock box, which is also in beautiful condition. Next, we've got a couple of Scots Guards, which are, <laughs> I think they're just delightful. I mentioned them in an earlier uh, video, and they... Um, they, they also are, of course, completely mint. You can see how shiny they are and how shiny their sentry boxes are. I unpacked them myself from their little boxes and the tissue paper that they were wrapped in had never been removed before. You could see the angles on it from uh, where the sentry box is pressed up against it. I still have that tissue paper too. Beautiful, really. Now, this third set that we're going to look at is a more modern set. It's 5183, and it's the first new Britain's limited edition that was produced in 1983, correct? So, um, 12 figures in this set, and um, again, of course, mint, beautiful, uh, original box, certificate, the whole bit. And um, they're quite sought after, I would say. I'm very sought after, actually. Lovely set. Um, and behind those are another old set, set number 11, which is the Black Watch. Now, this is not the original box that they are tied into. However, they are mint, as you can see. Always buy the best sets you can afford. Um, if you have to settle for something less than the best because you can't find it, fine but hold out and buy the best sets you can afford. Next in front here, we have uh, another Britain's hollow cast set. All of them are hollow cast up to this point, with the ex exception of the first limited edition set. These are the Argyll and Southern Highlanders, again dressed in uh, the, the, the service uniform with the white helmets. Um, there's 14 figures in the set. There's a lovely little officer in the front of them there with binoculars. His arms, of course, are both, both pivot and the binoculars got them down. The paper, uh, lovely. And next we have um, two Blenheim sets, 12 figures in total. Uh, and, and these are the Argyll and Southern, Sutherland Highlanders. It's the colour party, you can see that with the officer right up front and the uh, the escort marching with them. So two sets actually, two box sets. Of course I have the boxes. And um, the Scrobies who produced Blenheim uh, also produced the Nostalgia figures for Seamus Wade and the Marlborough figures. And uh, a small amount of figures for a limited edition uh, release in the US of Star Miniatures. And this next set is Star Miniatures Limited Edition. These are <clears throat> of the Sutherland Highlanders. 
six pieces, the horse and the officer, and four matching figures. Very jaunty, you can see the swirl of the kilt and the, the sporins there, very lovely. And the final set here is once again a Blenheim set. I'm very attracted to sets that are, that are kind of unique. And these are, they're cyclists of the Black Watch. And their, 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 their rifles are strapped to their bicycles. And I just think they're quite wonderful. Also, of course, I have the original box for this. So if we sweep them again, you get a look at the Highland Division. Now I've been asked, since I started posting these, this is my, my eighth post, uh, whether or not I'd be interested in selling any aspects of my collection. And I guess at my age the answer to that is yes, because it gives my children an opportunity to have the money rather than 9,000 toy soldiers when I finally uh, move on from this world. So, so yes, these are for sale. Uh, if there's an interested uh, buyer, they are to be sold as the division. Uh, they are priced from this little book here, the, the OP price list, which is quarter of a century old, and so they are very fair value, um, as anyone can see. And this isn't this isn't um, this isn't something that it's not eBay, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I'm very happy to keep them, and I'm very happy to let them go to the right discerning purchaser. Uh, if there are interested parties, please contact me at my email address here, danielboris at yahoo.ca. I'll break out other aspects of the collection as we go, and we will continue to look at them. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. Bye.